What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys subscribing and checking out my content. I hope you guys enjoyed that little edit of my trade setup. I enjoy content creation, so editing that video was quite fun. So in this video, I'm just gonna go through all the specs and product names. I've been getting a lot of messages, especially on Instagram. People wanted to know about the monitors and my PC. And what I'll do is I'll put all the product names and links to all the products in the description box below. Starting with my latest addition to my office is this cool thing over here. So this is a nano leaf canvas. This was a bit of a pricey kind of artwork because it doesn't really do much besides look cool. <laughs> These things pretty much connect into each other and you can kind of configure them however you want to. You can control it all on an app, which is really cool. You can make it any color. Um, you can make it react to music. And if you touch it, they react to touch. They look good, they don't really have a general purpose, but I wanted a bit of artwork in my office that kind of looks cool, lights up, kind of creates a cool little mood. Moving on to my monitors. I've gone through so many monitors over the years. Having a cool setup was always something I've really enjoyed having since I've been into gaming for a very long time, pretty much all my life. So I've always kind of had a really cool like little gaming space. So doing it differently and creating a bit of an office kind of environment definitely does help with productivity. Try and do whatever you have to do to create a very nice, nice space for you to work in, especially as a trader working from home, probably most of the population in 2020 working from home. It's really cool to kind of give yourself an environment that you really like just kind of sitting in and just chilling out and being productive. I have four monitors, obviously they are all 27 inches. The bottom ones are Lenovo 27 inch monitors and the top ones are Kogan 27 inch monitors. Kogan is basically a cheap electronics brand here in Australia. This TV is also from Kogan as well. They offer decent panels. I kind of usually just have my Discord chat up here talking to the ASFX members and the coaches. I usually have a web browser up here with my YouTube doing streaming stuff or just kind of research. Down the left, I have my MT4 terminal open here for taking and, and executing trades and this monitor is where I do all my charts so I'll have my trading view window open here and I'll do all my analysis they're perfectly fine for trading and charting and talking on discord and whatever but I did get a bit of an upgrade on the bottom one since I do edit videos so these have a different color profile than the ones above and I also play games in the bottom ones as well having a bit more of a professional monitor just for all my editing and stuff um, definitely helps Coming over to this cool little thing. This is a Moonlight. You can buy these on Amazon. These things are like popping up everywhere. This is also from Kogan as well. No other purpose besides just creating a cool little ambient office space and just kind of setting a nice mood. I also have a oil diffuser in the back there. And I also have my star projector. It's nice kind of having, being able to be mindful in your office and just kind of in a relaxed Zen state. So. Moving on to kind of just some clutter I have on my desk. I have a cool little crystal triangle thing here. This thing is pretty cool. I have some fake money because, you know, trade off. <laughs> and I just have some more random crystals. I have no idea what they are or what they are called. I don't have too much clutter on my desk. I try to keep it very clean um, most of the time but sometimes it can just build up with just random crap. Moving on to my mic, I just have a very simple, basic blue snowball mic. This thing is amazing for what I paid for it. I think I paid like $60 for it and it's just plug and play. You don't really need any mixes or anything else. It just plugs into the back, plugs into your USB port in your computer and you're good to go. And then moving on to my Amazon ring light. I don't know the brand of this thing, but I did buy it off Amazon. So once again, all this stuff will be in the description box below. This ring light is really good. Um, only kind of downfall is it does get quite warm. You can adjust the brightness on it, which is awesome. And I didn't pay too much for it. Moving on to the TV. This is a 55 inch panel Ultra HD 4K. Mainly this TV is more for my wife because she kind of chills out in the room with me sitting over here. So if the markets are slow, I can just kind of watch TV with her. We're currently binge watching The Walking Dead. It's really cool just kind of have a way to kind of shut off and not always be at the charts 
watching tick by tick, candle by candle, and stressing yourself out. I have a 15 inch MacBook Air, I believe this is, just in case anything happens over here, I can jump onto the laptop, say if my computer malfunctions while I have a blackout, while I'm trading, I have a laptop that's always kind of charged, ready to go. I got all my books, more books. And yes, I do play games, I do work hard as well, but you gotta remember that you don't have to hustle 24 seven to become good at what you're doing. Taking down time and relaxing is just as important as going full speed ahead and doing work. So don't forget to enjoy some leisure, some hobbies, so you don't get burnt out for whatever you're doing. The keyboard I'm using is a Logitech G915 keyboard. It is fully wireless. I am in the process of looking for a new wireless mouse. This one's currently wired, but I want a wireless one. So I need one that has all the buttons on the side like this one does because having the buttons on the side of a mouse, especially when doing back testing and you can just like push like your entry price, stop loss, everything on there. It makes life really, really easy, which is awesome. I don't like cables on my desk and this is kind of the only one. If you have any recommendations with wireless mouses that have buttons on the side, drop a link in the comment box below and I'll check it out. For anyone that's in the trading space, um, maybe some of you have heard of Magic Keys. This thing is awesome. It is like one button trade management. You can open your trade. It will automatically calculate the preset risk. So 1% or you can base it off if you want to risk a certain dollar um, figure. So if you want to risk like $100 per trade or a thousand, whatever. I will be doing a video explaining more on this and giving a tutorial. So make sure you guys are subscribed and you hit that bell icon to get notified when I release that because I've been getting a lot of messages on the magic keys, just a lot of interest in how it works and is it worth the money. And that brings me to my chair that I sit on pretty much like upwards of five to eight hours a day is a DX racer. This is about five years old. I've had it since 2015. Um, I am getting an upgrade. I've only had to just replace one of the wheels recently because it kind of just kept falling off and my chair would almost like tip. <laughs> the new chair I am getting is a Secret Labs chair. They seem to have the most reviews online. So I look forward to getting that and replacing this. Moving on to my PC. I've built a fair few custom computers in the past. This one was custom made. I built this myself and I'll run you through the specs real quick. So what you're looking at is kind of been outdated. I only built this last year, but if anyone knows PC parts, they do get updated quite frequently and they're always kind of releasing updated and upgraded models. Starting with the power supply, I got a Thermaltake Tough Power Grand RGB 850 watt gold power supply. Coming over to the CPU, the brains of this PC is an Intel Core i7 9700K Octa Core. 4.9 gigahertz unlocked CPU. I haven't overclocked it yet. I haven't really kind of run into any kind of limits. So with exporting and rendering videos, it's been perfect. This CPU has already been um, kind of outdated, unfortunately, but still does the job for me. The motherboard I'm running is a Gigabyte Z390 Aurorus Pro. The CPU is also um, liquid cooled with Thermaltake's Flow Ring RGB 360 TT Premium Edition CPU cooler. This thing is super quiet, even though it's running like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fans, plus the pump for the CPU um, liquid cooler. So it's very quiet. I do recommend, once again, most of this has been outdated. I've also got 32 gig of Corsair Vengeance Pro RGB RAM in there as well. DDR4 at 3000 megahertz of memory. 32 gig, I don't really need anything more than that. I'm not kind of running anything crazy. I am editing a lot of my videos in 4K and they kind of work flawlessly. Um, even with the editing workflow, the, it's just very smooth playback. So my main source of memory is a Samsung 970 Evo 500 gigabyte NVMe drive in there as well. So that's an SSD drive. I've also got, I think a two terabyte, 3.5 inch hard drive um, also connected in here just for external storage. So with the graphics card, this is a 1080 series. The new free series have um, arrived, but there's been a massive shortage of them since everyone's upgrading and with COVID and everything. So I will be upgrading to the new free series eventually, but this card does everything fine for me at the moment. And all of this is housed in the Thermaltake View 71 RGB plus tempered glass full tower. This tower is actually quite massive. 
but a lot of space, a lot of airflow, and it is super, super quiet. Like, I can't even hear it. So that's the specs on my PC. I hope I covered everything you guys kind of wanted to see. If you have any questions, let me know. I hope I didn't miss anything out. Um, if I did, all the product links will be in the description box below. So make sure you check that out. So once again, guys, if you stayed this far into the video, I appreciate it, thank you so much. If you aren't subscribed to the YouTube channel, please subscribe below and make sure you hit that notification bell icon so you get notified when I release new content. Also, just a quick announcement as well. Some of you may know, but I have been live streaming every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, my trades. So I've been doing live trading, streaming it on YouTube, just to be transparent. I am also doing the Traders for Traders funded practical assessment account for the 100K funded account. If you want to know more about the Traders for Traders, let me know and I'll happily give you guys some more info. The thing that sold me from Traders for Traders besides other trading funded companies like FTMO was the 10% profit target. You don't have any time limit to reach it. Could take you a week, could take you a year. So as long as you hit that 10%, they'll give you the account. And as long as you follow obviously their risk management rules and don't break them, then the account's yours. Thank you guys, I appreciate your time and I'll see you in the next YouTube video.